Good evening, everybody. Um, welcome to Girl Genius, which if this is your first time joining us, this is a live celebration of girls and them doing being engaged in STEAM topics, science, techno technology, art, and math. And so tonight we have a special guest or two special guests, the Davison family, and I'm gonna read quickly their bio. So we have Jocelyka here, who is the proud mother of two children, Claire and Kenny. As a little girl, Jocelyka didn't feel confident in math and science and knew that if she ever had a daughter, she would expose her during her early years in hopes that she'd love it. Claire here is a fifth grade student who happens to be a lover of science, yay, and proves each day that girls can not only do hard things, but that they can excel in them. Just watching her share what she's learning in science, oftentimes correcting her mother, brings joy to her mother's heart. Mm -hmm. So in this discussion, Claire is going to share her love for science and all things uh, STEAM. And so I'm gonna turn it over to you all. I'm gonna just make my screen smaller so then you guys will be expanded here. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. And all righty, so it's on you guys. It's on us, Claire. <laughs> Are you excited to be on here with Miss Erica? Yes. Okay, so is what I said as far as the description of me and science, is it true, you think? It is, it is. You but talked about it earlier. I was talking about it earlier, but how do you feel about science? I like it. Okay, what do you like about science? I kind of heard this before, but what is it that you really like about science? Um, I think I like the most that I get to try new things. Yes. And one thing that you said to me when I was asking before, because science kind of goes over my head, you said you like to have big explosions. Is that true? <laughs> Do you like explosions? Oh my goodness. How, what about this experiment, this interview that we're getting ready to do? Because we actually have something that we want to share. How did you decide what we're going to share today? Um, I saw a lot of things that I wanted to do and I decided on one. Okay, you saw a lot of things that you wanted to do and you decided on one. So that's good. Is there something that you want to say about science to little girls who sometimes feel like I felt? Um, that if you keep trying, you can do whatever you want to do. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If you keep trying, you can do whatever you want to do. Do you want to start with the science experiment first? you want to kind of show everyone what you're going to do? Or do you want to talk more about science? It's your call. I'm just here. I don't know. You don't know? Okay, so let's start with this, the experiment. Okay. You have some things here, and we'll see if everyone can see what you have. Okay. Um, you want to tell them what it is that you have? So I have four candles, um, a lighter. Um a bowl. Like prongs, those are kind of like, almost like. Huh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call. Um, I have a bowl full of water that I added, that was that had breed dye added to it. And um, I'm going to put all the water into this, just flipping it over. No way, Jose. Like, is that something that could even happen? Yes, it so, is. So this is what people need to know. I have not seen this experiment happen, so I don't even know what's going to happen with this experiment. So I'm hoping that it turns out well. Whatever it's supposed to do, I'm hoping that it does it. <laughs> Whatever it's supposed to do. OK. Mm -hmm. So first, I'm going to start by putting the candles in the water out getting any water on them hopefully hopefully does it matter if you get water on them yes it does why because if i put if water gets on it it'll be harder to light the candle mm. because um it would be like um trying to make a fire like trying to start a fire um with like a lot of water around you okay okay that's because, difficult yeah, that's difficult. Okay. 
Now, does it matter how many candles you use? Um, yes. Why? Um, I'm using four because using like using one could make could make the effect not work as well. Okay. And um, there'd be less pressure. Oh, okay. <laughs> Was that something you were not expecting me to say? <laughs> yeah. You're like, Mom, why are you asking these silly questions? Do you need help with that? Now, so if you're at home, you really need to have an adult to help you with this. Okay. You got it? Oh. oh, so I'm the adult that I'm, I'm going to help. Let's see if I can do it. Is this, this is a new kind, I feel like. Oh, so that's how you Yeah. You got it? Maybe. You need some help? Whoa. So Claire, you started doing science experiments from a little girl, like tiny, tiny, even though you think that you're a big girl right now, you're only 10. Is there a favorite experiment you have? Um, I like this one a lot. You like this one a lot? Okay. I have video of you giving me information about an experiment you did. Okay, so what are you going to do now? Okay, so I'm going to try and move these closer so that it'll fit inside of this. The vase, okay. Vase. Okay. I feel like we should have had some, I don't know, goggles. <laughs> Do we need goggles for a science experiment? Not for this one. Okay. So we don't have to worry about big flames. And I'm going to put the... Okay. Can I help you with something? Then I'm going to move this a little bit more. Okay. So I can put this inside. That. So what is happening? The um, candles. Wow. The candles um, blew out and all the pressure um, was equalized to do to bring all the water into the vase. Okay. And so now what do we do? Um, is the water going to stay this way? It can, yeah. Okay. If you don't move it. If you don't move it. Okay. And on the inside are, is the dyed water, uh -huh. the candle, which two of them may not light again because water. Okay. Um, and when you take it out okay it does this ah that's pretty neat let's think about okay so when i think about girl geniuses of course i think about you right think about hidden figures you remember that movie yeah okay because i took to see it with your friends and i feel like they are girl geniuses as well they're pretty brilliant what did you like about that movie. Do you remember any parts of that movie? Um, I remember that um, one of the people in the movie started out like um, at a really young age, like in science and in math. Yeah, in math. Catherine. If that's who it was. Okay. Yeah, and um, Catherine, because she kept working hard, she grew up to start working at NASA and helped with the, and helped um, Neil Armstrong um, make his first step on the moon. And all, all <laughs> I like it, I like it. So, okay, 
So I'm thinking, all right, as a young scientist, because I think that you're pretty much a young scientist compared to me, right? Is there something that you want to do in science that you haven't done? Um, yes. What is it? Um, I want to try more things. Like what? Like experiments. Like while I was looking at experiments for this, um, there was um, an ocean level experiment where you would take syrup mm -hmm. and when you pour it and then you pour it in a jar mm -hmm. you take water then you do that but what happens is you have different layers yeah it's like different layers like the ocean um the water floats on top of the syrup because it's lighter the lighter it is, the more likely it is to stay on top. Mm -hmm. And then you put oil on top, and that is on the top now. And then you take like a paper clip, mm -hmm. and you put it in. It'll sink all the way to the bottom. But if you put a there's a bottle, bottle cap, if you put a bottle cap, mm -hmm. it will only sink to the second level. And why do we know why? Because compared to everything, like in the ocean, there are fish, and they all live in different sea levels. If one goes to the wrong sea level on accident, they can um, accident they can drown. I know, like fish are supposed to live in the ocean but if they're not in a environment they're not used to um they can drown that can happen for any fish this is true yes how do you know i've been making fish water um water pressure there's yeah there's different washer, water pressure and different fish are used to being in different um zones like the sunlight zone oh okay <laughs> i love it okay like you know how when we went to mexico we went to the beach mm -hmm. um where you could see the water that was the sunlight zone mm -hmm. and it keeps going for um i think 20 miles down maybe where did you get 20 miles down no. Um, I watched a show. Okay. <laughs> meters, maybe meters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it keeps going, and you. And that's like, and there are different zones for different water pressures. Like, we're used to being in the sunlight zone, but there are people who have been in the midnight zone and... The midnight zone? Yeah. Okay. You know, when I think about science, I think that we've actually been doing a little bit of it, and we haven't just really called it science, like baking. And I feel like you're mixed. Those are mixtures. Kind of science. Then... Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, so what have you been doing at the house? during this uh this time period of the pandemic what have you been doing in the house related um well we because people most people think that it's just being you know that you're just doing something this is a real experiment well actually you're doing science every day okay tell me how um like the makeup you use um if there were certain things in that, it wouldn't stick to you. Okay. It would come right off mm -hmm. easily. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you <laughs> what? 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 You use makeup a lot. Oh. So. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I haven't been wearing a lot during this time. I have not makeup now because we're being interviewed, but I haven't been like wearing it every day. Jocelyn. 
Yes. Oh, I was going to say you had a couple questions on the, or one question. Yeah, in a comment. In the comment section, I don't know if you can see it, but um, one of the questions was, what advice do you have for younger girls? Is that for Claire? Is that question for Claire? Um, probably, because Claire, you're in fifth grade. So um, I guess people that are young, you know, maybe kindergarten or first grade, if you had any advice for them. And then um, if anybody else had questions too, you all can post it there. Um, if you love science, then I, I would say keep doing what you love and you may be, you may be one that everyone remembers one day. Nice. Okay. So I just wanted to cry about that one because that was so well said. Um, and I don't really, I, I think that the big youngest younger kids is um for me i was scared of science i really am still scared i don't know if you can see it you probably can it's obvious but um it wasn't my favorite thing on purpose i mean i think that our society has taught us that men are good at science and math and women are not and i took on that belief but i was adamant about changing that thought as it relates to my daughter so i wanted to that even though I was fearful, and in a lot of ways I'm still fearful of science, if I was in college right now and I had to take science class, even just like discussing science, it's like this is not my thing. Um, so I think that it's really important to make sure that your kids are exposed to things that maybe seem hard or difficult for them just because they need to know the power in trying and even if you fail, just continuing on whatever the journey is and just growing because when you try something, the more you do it, the better you get at it, right? And when you don't try it, you, don't, you haven't even given yourself a chance. You've already failed because you didn't even try it. And so I really try to push or encourage Claire as much as I can with science and also math just because of that. Awesome. And then Claire, um, I had a question. What um, did you want to do when you get older? <laughs> do you know yet? Um, well, I don't really know yet, but I love animals, so I might do something um, connected to that. Okay. All right. Awesome. She does. Awesome. She does. Animals. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, did you all have anything else you wanted to um, share about your experiment? What's, what was the name of your experiment? Um, <laughs> what is it? I don't know. What's the name of the experiment? The name of the experiment was... Oh, you have a question. What type of science do you like? Um. I like all different kinds of science. I just like to try new things and what animals. Yeah. Oh, um, I like, well, I like dogs. Mom. She likes dogs, but her mother has said no. <laughs> <laughs> her mom has said no. It's not. But she does. She loves dogs and she even likes cats. You, on the other hand, I do not. <laughs> All right. Um, so the so your experiment that you did, um, you said you didn't know the exact name of it, but people, if they wanted to try it, is there certain words you can Google? Um. Well, if you use, um, what do you think of the Pinterest? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, rising water with candle. Rising you can, water with you, candle. You can use like rising okay. water. Okay. Rising water with candle. Okay. Because I hadn't seen that one before. That was very cool. I don't think we're supposed to kind of go online to search. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure. 
I think that you're in the middle of being interviewed. Thank you um, so much for sharing that and your uh, vast knowledge of all things science. Like you definitely are walking it, talking it, you know, it's like in you. So that's excellent. Like whatever path you want to take in STEAM, it's, it's there. You're definitely grounded in it. So mom is doing a great job starting early with that. <laughs> But yes, um, to anybody else watching, um, again, if you all are interested in having your family, your daughter, granddaughter, niece, little cousin um, on with you, please contact us at Club Oasis and um, you can have a spot um, as well and show off your talents in STEAM. So uh, any parting words, Claire, before we sign off? Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. We loved having you and, and um, hearing, like I said, about your love for steam and, and animals too, and then you sharing your experiment. So very much appreciate it. All right, so stay safe and sane uh, throughout this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Like, Claire seems to be okay. I think it was a little yeah, harder. Yeah, it's, the, it's but, the parents that it's very hard on. But yeah. yeah. So, but thank you guys so much and have a good rest of your evening. And thank you all that tuned in. Thank you all so right. much. Oh, no problem. Bye bye. Bye. bye.